what are some of the things that we can learn from Peter? Removing his gaze from what really mattered uh, on the Savior and giving in to those fears momentarily. You know, I've thought a lot about this over the years because um, he does, in some way, he loses sight mm -hmm. of Christ, right? So I'm not sure that the text tells us whether that's because he was looking and chose to look that way um, because he saw the waves or sometimes when those waves are going, if you're down in a, a valley things, you can't see mm -hmm. what. So it's the waves that stop you yeah. from from seeing the saviour. Whatever that was, he knew that the saviour was there. And so he reaches out and he has this this wonderful phrase where he says, um, he cries out saying, Lord, save me. So it's, it's a faith here mm -hmm. that's, that's coming on. Um, but he's, the language he uses here is really interesting because he's not saying, Rabbi, save me, or teacher, save me. He's using this word, Lord, which in the New Testament often has a reference to God, right? So he's seeing Jesus as God. And when he says, save me, this word here is, it can mean save me from physical danger, but it also has this idea of saving me from transcendental danger, uh, salvation, those kinds of things. It's the same word. And so Matthew here is kind of giving us this sense of, yes, there's a physical danger that's being, but there's a spiritual danger that all of us experience it sometimes. And uh, we have to, whether it's because we've got distracted or whether it's because the world and mortal life has blocked us from seeing the Savior, somehow we've got to cry out to him um, so that he can bring us the salvation, the safety that we need. Mm -hmm.